Hello, I'm Richard Hogg. And I'm Ricky Haggart. Together we worked on the games Ho Hokum and Wilmot's Warehouse, and we want to tell you about our next game. It's called I Am Dead and will be published by Annapurna Interactive. I Am Dead is a puzzle adventure game. You play as Morris, the curator of a small local museum who just happens to be dead. Since dying, you see the world a bit differently as you're able to peer inside objects. It's a bit like having supernatural x-ray vision. You can even see memories inside people's heads. Together with your dog Sparky, who is also dead, you use your ghostly powers to reveal secrets, solve puzzles and meet other ghosts. The island has a volcano beneath it, which has been dormant, but now it's beginning to wake up and it's up to Morris and Sparky to save the place they called home. So what does the player actually do in this game? Well, at its heart, I Am Dead's a unique kind of hidden object game where you use your ghostly ability to see inside things. As you examine things, you get to see them in a kind of dynamic cross-section, and the player has full control over this, and it feels very fluid and intuitive. It's a new way of looking at objects. A lot of these things are just kind of beautiful and mesmerising when you see them like this. Look inside this sculpture, it's like an abstract sculpture, but the insides are so cool. And you can drill down inside things. There are things inside things inside things to find. But yeah, most importantly, there are specific things that the player is supposed to be looking for, like this horse grooming glove. A horse grooming glove? Yeah, it belonged to your old friend Val when she was alive. It's been stolen by this fox who loves stealing gloves. Perfectly normal behaviour for a fox. What's your favourite thing to look at in this game? Probably this toaster. Yeah, I like that one too. Let's talk about why you have to find these specific things. Well, it's to do with the other ghosts. You're dead and so are they, and in order to talk to them, you need to find a bunch of objects that meant something to them when they were alive. We call these things mementos. And the reason you have to talk to these other dead folks is that between you all, you might be able to stop the volcano erupting and destroying the island. We need to talk about the different kinds of people you meet in this game. There are some interesting characters. Yeah, obviously there are local islanders. And then there are these fish folk who are a race of aquatic people who live in the sea around the island, a different kind of local. They've only recently been coming ashore and wearing clothes and stuff like that, adopting human ways. And then people have been visiting the island from elsewhere for various reasons. The lighthouse is now a thriving yoga retreat and there's a sculpture park that attracts some of the biggest names in contemporary art. Why is this guy an apple? Oh, that's Vernon Russett. He's a famous sculptor and also a Braeburn. I like these bird characters. Yeah, they're all tourists from the island of Tia Paquito. They literally flock here in large numbers every summer, especially since the new ferry has been coming to the island. Well, they take the ferry. Can't they just fly? Not with all that camera equipment, no. So this is a game about ghosts, but we don't think of them as ghosts, really. They aren't spooky at all. It's really a game about normal people who just happen to be dead. The stories of their lives told through the memories of people who knew them and the objects that they left behind. You have to find these hidden objects that meant something to them. And in order to know what you're looking for, you delve inside the memories of people who knew them when they were alive and discover stories that they remember about that person. Each memory tells you a little story and also gives you a clue as to which object you are looking for. You also get to talk to the ghosts once you have found them. And of course, you are always talking to your faithful dog, Sparky. She's very cool. It's, it's Sparky? Morris, you worked it out. I... you can talk? Well, I could always talk. You just couldn't understand me. She's kind of your spirit guide. She has a better grip on what's going on in the afterlife than you do, to be honest. OK, thanks for watching our little film about I Am Dead. We hope you enjoy it when it comes out. Thanks for watching.